Cowboys friends, Cowboys fans, Cowboys family, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Fusta King, drummer, producer. You know what I mean? I got the microphone right here. A little singing song writing on my spare time. But most importantly, bedroom scout. We trying to get some more of these, y'all. Hey, today's video is going to be the Cowboys defense versus the Packers offense. But before I do any of that, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Just thank you, straight up. Um, now, I also want to say thank you for donating. Listen, I'm trying to get to this Cowboys game. I already bought my ticket. Woo! And I know with all these Green Bay fans, the ticket's going to be crazy. But if you can, continue to donate. It means the world to me. Thank you to all those who have donated. The list is on, goes long. Muhammad, Bruce, uh, Zach, everybody. You know, if I miss somebody, charge it to my head, not my heart. But listen, continue to donate. It means the world to me. I got to... Rent a car, I got a hotel, Christmas just came up. Thank you guys. With that being said, this whole notebook is filled with nuggets and, and things that I've written down and just things that I think more or less the Cowboys can really take advantage of the Green Bay Packers offensively. Yes, our defense. It's not nothing that it's there's nothing that, you know, they're gonna do. It's what we're gonna do to them. You know, we have some matchups. On every level of this defense that really favored Dallas. And I know, I know Aaron Rodgers, 22 touchdowns, zero interceptions. Aaron Rodgers is just the best thing, and he's so hot. And going into the playoffs, you want to be hot and this, that, and the third. We beat him. Cowboys fans. We beat Green Bay in Green Bay, in Lambeau. The same place where they just routed the Giants, we beat them. And it's because of a couple things. I've always said defensive IQ. Every level has to be sharp this game. The Cowboys will win this game. Let's talk about the defense. So first and foremost, you have to rush A-Rod contain, but you also have to make A-Rod play backwards. One thing that I noticed that the Giants did, and then even in our first game, what we did well, Snacks Harrison a couple times, you know, Damon Harrison, the great run stuffer for the Giants. He was rushing, but he was rushing, and then he was acting like a spy on passing downs. Well, what A-Rod is doing is going side to side. He's getting cute. He's he's weaving in throughout their holes on a D-line. That's giving A-Rod way too much time. That's when he's comfortable. What you have to do is you still have to put pressure on him. You just have to stay in your lanes and rush contain. You still have to hit him and get sacks on him. You know, you A Rod is such a rhythm player. He's 22. He has, you know, he's been on a hot streak, and so you have to break his rhythm. I think that we have the cover guys in the back end. You know, when DRC went out, the game changed. Well, we have two guys who played a slot well. Actually, three. If you want to throw Byron Jones in there, he's one of my X factors. But I'll get to him later. Skandrick, Anthony Brown, Byron Jones. That's my focus for this for this defense and stopping the Packers. Because, again, I looked up a bunch of numbers. They're in the back half of the league running the ball. Terrell McClain will be good there. He'll stop the run. Uh, Malik Collins does a great job on run fits. And so does um, – oh, I always draw a blank with my boy from, uh, from Philly, who we got from Philly this year. Nonetheless, we will stop the run extremely well. What Dallas has to do now is run fits. I mean, excuse me, the middle of the field. If Jordy Nelson doesn't play, that's huge. But if he does play, I still feel fine, especially if Claiborne is really healthy. Now, here's going to be a major, major thing, the slot. What they're going to do is they're going to realize that on the outside, because I have faith in Carr against, you know, they got some kid, he has a funny name, you know, they got some kid out there on the outside, and then they have, obviously, Devontae Adams. He had a big game, but to me, he's just a guy. I think he matches up great with Carr. I don't think that he has the speed to really get past Carr, and he won't be physical enough to, to bully Carr. So that's perfect. Or for Claiborne, I think both corners will just play you know, their side. What it's going to be is Cook in the middle and, obviously, Randall Cobb in the middle. If it's going to be Skandrick, I need Skandrick to have you know a good Skandrick game. I need him to be, you know, play with good leverage, play with good technique on Cobb. And if he does make a catch, make a tackle. Because after the tackle, 
that is where, I mean, after the catch is where Cobb is also very effective. If it's Byron Jones on Cook, again, Cook is just a guy that got him from the Rams. He doesn't scare me like, you know, a Gronk or these other tight ends who are extremely good. So that's where I think that Dallas actually has a favorable matchup. Now, let's go back to the defensive line. I named all the guys in our run fits. DeMarcus Lawrence should be coming back. He should be healthy. Here are my two X factors. Well, here's my X factor on the defensive line, David Irvin. I now believe that David Irvin more or less is has taken a step to being a dominant player. If you look at the Tampa Bay game, he really took the Tampa Bay game over. The Detroit game, he had some great plays. He's just a guy that you can line up all over our defensive line and you can find what I think Marinelli will do is say, where's our weakest link? Let's put David Irvin on him. If it's their guard, if it's one of their right tackles, if it's their right tackle, whoever's playing the weakest that game. And I really believe that David, Ir David Irving will be an X factor. Not only just rushing the passer, but he also has those long arms. He can swat down balls. David Irving, to me, is Dallas's X factor on the line. And the back end is going to be Byron Jones coming up and run support, playing sideline to sideline, and of course being able to be an X factor and taking out you know a Cobb or a Cook, anything across the middle, especially in that in that um, deep safety third is what they play. Church is another guy to watch. Down he has to come up and run support. But you know Kristen Michaels, and then they even saying um, the kid oh, 88 for the Packers. They're saying that he might be injured. So these are things that are really playing into Dallas's hands. So to me, take care of your run support. Make Aaron Rodgers throw the ball all over the field. If that's what they want to do, you can do that against the Giants because the Giants didn't capitalize on offense. The defense played good against Green Bay early. The floodgates opened when, when, you know, when Eli didn't score and Odell was dropping passes. That defense can only, momentum is so real in football. That defense could only hold up for so long. That being said, you know, um, some more things that I just wrote down. Um, you know, Claiborne healthy, Anthony Brown, you must tackle. That's, that's one of the, my big things. You must tackle. Tackling is what we do best. That's how you get fumbles. That's how you create turnovers. That's how you stop them. That's how it goes from, you know, it being second and two to second and seven or sec th third and five to third and two. All of these things matter when you're playing a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. So it's just something to look for this weekend, Cowboys. Um, and the biggest thing, more or less, is that Aaron Rodgers will have some plays. That's just who he is. The thing is, though, what Dallas does so well from, you know, red zone to red zone, we play such good red zone defense that we're going to score touchdowns. We're going to have to also hold them to field goals. We're going to have to tighten everything up. That Tampa 2 that we play is perfect for red zone defense. Cowboys fans, I think we will be fine this game, especially defensively. Sean Lee should have a big game. He'll have a bunch of tackles. I think Byron Jones and our secondary must tackle, must keep Jared Cook and Randall Cobb in order. I'm not worried about the outside. I'm not worried about the running game. Rush Aaron Rodgers contained. Uh, Lawrence and, and Tyrone Crawford, I think we'll be fine, Cowboys fans. Trust me on this one. Hey, it's your boy Fusta King. Make sure that you donate. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Listen, please help me get to Dallas. Please help me enjoy this. Anybody tailgating, I want to be out there with you having fun. Donate, like, share, subscribe. It's your boy Fusta King. Gone.